Kings of Coast. What's going on, everybody? What, 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 what's going on? Everybody? I'm your host, Steve. It's Steph Crystal. What's going on, everybody? What, what, what's the king of the happy days of the Oreo? Are you going to shut up so we can answer? So shut your face. So we're talking about black women. How could I forget? This is the Minority Plus One Podcast. Yeah. yeah. What's going on, everybody, and welcome to the show. It's the king of the Heffrey's. It's, it's Oreo. Oreo. We are back once again, podcasting to you. And as always, we got the ladies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go see. I'm so glad people can see my face now on video. But, darlings, tell them, who are you? It's Sam Crystal. It's Brady Bench. And I'm your host, Steve. And this is the Minority, Minority Plus One Podcast. Podcast. Chill. <laughs> yes, so. Yes. <sighs> All right, Steve. It was it was Steve's birthday weekend. So you hey. start how your weekend went. Let's, let's hear it. Because uh, I was the all-star at the end of that night. <laughs> Bitch. I, mean, right, no, no, let, let him I don't know let if I'm gonna say you. all star. I will say you. she did save me at okay. the end. Uh, I mean, yo, honestly, it was cool. I want to thank everybody who came out and showed love, and you know, um, came to the birthday dinner, had a wonderful time. Uh, definitely, you Good know, time. I definitely think we um, redeemed ourselves. We redeemed ourselves at this particular <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> Now, if you guys, uh, if you guys don't remember the birthday beatdown, couple episodes, couple podcast episodes ago, you know we we ain't get kicked out, but you know we left a little sour taste in the mouth of Buca de Peppo. So Steve, you know, wanted to redeem himself for his birthday, so we yes. got that. We, we we did it. No fights. It was all good because it was all good. love. It was, it was all I, love. You know what? I knew there was. Night. Yeah, I knew it wasn't gonna be no bullshit. So I was. That was, that was a good night. Cool. But you know, yeah. I came at fucking ten o'clock. This is our rolled you, you better you better blame fucking. my band. That, <laughs> that was a fucking. That was, it. It was, was a fucking girl, was, seven seven thirty. I was ready at seven. So this bitch don't showed up but, at fucking ten o'clock. Party's here. I, I was like, bitch, we don't I, sit here. We all wrapped up our food and shit, ready to go. Yo, home. shout out to you for giving me that cheesy bread because I was already dying <laughs> when we came in there, and I was already lit. Like, hi, there. Party's here. I was like, bitch, we do not yeah. <laughs> and then I had to greet every you know me Kitchen I gotta damn greet. near closed and, and shit. I, I, you know me, I had to greet and hug everybody. <laughs> uh but yes, uh good times. Good times. Uh after that, ended up at the casino and I lost every single dollar I had. Man, See, that was the first time it was a bad night. No, I knew it. It was I a bad a, night. Yeah. I had a gut feeling. Let me tell you something. It didn't feel right. Steve, you was lit. I was so too lit. So I stopped you so twice. So he was just, no, really? no, no, he no, was no. just spending? No, he, I stopped him twice for putting like almost $200, $300 on the <gasps> table. Steve, come on. Really? I know it's your birthday and all yo, this he shit. Put, yo, thank, At least get something that worth that much. Not fucking gamble it away. So Fair it, was enough. Span, it was Spanish 21. I remember the dealer's name. Her name was Olga. And um, she was about to take all that shit. She took it. But before (laughs) before she did that, um, he laid it out. And I was like, give me that shit. What the fuck is you doing, bro? I was like, let me hold this for you. Because he put it. Because once you put it on the table... It's, it's, it's you can't there. take it back. Yeah, yeah. Okay. but she was it. she was cool enough to let me take back the money. Some which of was it, nice. yeah. yeah, yeah. And I lost twenty dollars, so when I lost that twenty, I was done. It was over, right? Was that's me. Ten dollars. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's enough. But she took all. <laughs> she took all our money. Me, his, Kels, everybody, money. She uh-uh. took all our money. Olga mm-hmm. got us. We all said it. it was like, damn you, Olga. <laughs> damn uh-huh. you. So. so nobody won. No, no, girl, no. She took all her money. No. I'm not even joking. <laughs> nah. And that's the first time I've ever lost with Steve. Usually, Steve's my good luck and I charm. Told her, I'm like, yo, don't, don't, don't be relying directly on me to be some good <laughs> luck charm, yo. Sometimes you have a bad day at the tables, and you just need to understand okay, that. Okay, okay. So, you know, it's a, you know, yeah. I, I, I got a beating. I call it beating. Yeah. You know, but you know. So were you guys in and out the casino then? No, we were really everyone lost their money and left a little bit. You, and then oh, okay. and then it was me and Steve. We were the last man standing. And Steve said he wanted Damn, to go to Damn at the casino. At the casino. Everybody wanted it was Just going home. Too. I feel like that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. I don't but I don't all right, here's my thing. <laughs> I don't remember this part. You don't remember nothing? So I'll, after this part. After, okay. I, I don't even mm. remember like I remember losing. I do not remember leaving the casino. 
I'm just okay. saying that right I now. That. I was blacked out. Anyway, so um, I'll tell really? it. I was blacked I'll, out. Were you holding his arm? No, I'll tell it from here. So the weirdest thing, I didn't know Steve blacks out like this until the morning after his birthday where when I tell you Brit, he was very he was coherent he was talking to me it was it was it was really? regular shit so so I'll tell it from here because I remember yeah, everything because once we got to the the strip club I just drank water the whole time okay. so we get there um it's Listen, I don't know how I didn't know. It's two drink minimum, but it was like fifty bucks. So I didn't know. Fifty Wait, bucks. What? So it was twenty to get in, and it was twenty 50, to get and in, it, and two drink minimum. So listen, listen. So I get to the bar, and Steve said he wanted another shot of Henny. So I was like, okay, cool. I got him. I got a shot of Henny. I got a shot of Henny in a water. I didn't even realize it when she checked me out. She said forty one something. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my 41 god. Forty one dollars for I was like forty one dollars for a shot of Henny in a water. She, She's like, oh, they were supposed to tell you that is a two, just like this. It's a two drink minimum. I was like, okay. I was like, fine. I was like, I'll, the other drink I'll just get for him. But I wish wait, they, is this just to go into the club and like enjoy yourself it, per person? It was twenty. Apparently, it was twenty per person to get in, which I, and I a two figured. drink minimum to I'm get sad. a drink. So it's not I'm like sad. Brit. It's not like you could get a beer and that's it. You got to get two drinks. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. So anyway, so Who do you think they are? I didn't know this. Yeah, I That's wild. I didn't That's wild. I, I didn't and our good friend be going there. So I'm the surprised. Time. I'm surprised she'd she be spending that much. Someone there. She, be... she knows Oh, someone. okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Or her her cousin so she probably got the hookup. Yeah, yeah, okay. She got like a light hookup. All right. So we're there. Um I'm chilling. I'm drinking water the whole time. Steve's trash. This listen, <laughs> full so full circle moment in my opinion came where this big booty body done jamaican stripper <laughs> ah! and hollers at steve and guess where she's from in jamaica where montego bay oh my god <laughs> where did we went for her? vacation yeah i said girl i was like we went on vacation there she knew the resort we went to and everything yeah. and she was cool she done took all steve money oh, <laughs> she done took steve I, money oh shit see I, i'm telling you now no idea what happened. No idea. No clue. Okay. I, listen, she took his money. They went and had a dance or whatever, and she took this man's money. Where they be going over there? Like behind a little. I don't even nah, know. In the closet you, so type you go thing, into the actual. Know. I know this. So you go into the actual club, and then there's a patio, in the back, and that then through patio that. is for it. No, 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 not the back patio. But and then you go through the back patio. There's another. Mm. There's another there's like, area. There's a champagne room. There's a, uh, yeah. So oh, okay. it's like a private area. So like you know, if you want to go in there and buy like sex toys and videos and all. I've never shit. went in that area. Yeah. I never. Yeah. And I've been probably anybody in shenanigans could, a handful of times. And anybody never, can go in there. Oh, I never been over there. That's wild. Yeah. So wild. so the best part of the night, while I'm the MVP of the night, if listeners, if y'all know me, if anyone knows me personally, know I do not drive. I can't drive. I can't even believe that. I have a fear of driving. I need my videotape. ass got in that car and drove Steve to my house so he could sleep on my couch. That's crazy, Son, Steve. I, How'd you? No, first was, of all, Steve, that you even let her. And then fucking what was I gonna, Sam, what was I gonna do? Ha, ha. No, I got I, Brittany. I don't remember. You don't drive. So now you know what, bitch? You off the hook now. I can drive now. Now I know. <laughs> I can drive. And now I'm be like, no, Sam's yeah. fucking driving. I can drive now. That's it. No, I now feel, you can drive. No, I feel better feel now. Good? Like I feel good about it now. I was driving just fine. I, I drank nothing but water, so I wasn't intoxicated whatsoever. And I feel good about driving now. All of a sudden, like even with my boyfriend, I'm like I'll drive. He's not. He's not ready yet for me. He ain't ready. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, let's get you behind a couple more wheels yeah, and yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. That's what I think he's let's saying. Get he's you like, a couple more Yo, this car type new. This car type new. But I drove. I drove Steve home. And I put him on the couch. Put the blanket over him. That's I why. He didn't, Snell was sleeping next to him, and that was it. I just remember waking <laughs> up on the couch, and I'm like, how the. F Fuck did, did I get, get here? here? But but mind you, Brittany, the entire time he is coherent. He's talking to me like, I can't believe I'm letting you drive. I can't believe. No, no I, clue. Like, <laughs> no clue. That's how you. fucked up you were. I was, I, I was gone. Very coherent. Dude. Very Well, I thought coherent. He's talking to me. Clear. Sam, when was the last time you drove? He, uh, years. Years. Bitch, years. Because, okay, so story time. When I, when I got, when I, my first car was a Honda Accord and I, I'll never forget this shit. And this is why it made me stop driving. Cause it made me have like this stupid fear. So my first car was like a Honda Accord when I was like, I don't know, like maybe 19, 20. And I was turning on Quail street. That's in Albany, uh, like 
what uptown Coyle yeah. Street over by uh, Washington Ave, and I turned and I hit the gas and I pow right behind a parked car, <laughs> and it was the most embarrassing Thanks. feeling ever. People were like, "Yo, oh my God!" They were taking the license plate number and shit like that. <laughs> and, and, and I ever since then I just was Whatever. so and, and I felt so bad because their their bumper was like hanging off. And Damn. I was, yeah, yeah. I instead of the brake. Cause I made a too wide of a gas. turn. I hit the gas, and ever since then I was just too embarrassed to like drive. And, and no, not for nothing. Once I get on that road, yes, I'm gonna be that person that takes you know a little minute to turn. And yes, I'm gonna be that person that drives kind of slow. I'm still learning. At 33, I'm still learning. All right. Well, All right. you know what? I'm glad you that didn't you take were the on highway then, did you? You just went straight no, down central, no, right? Central. Yeah. No, I went straight down central. Straight down yeah. central. I made, but I made mad turns though. I'm proud. I'm proud. There should have been no you. reason for you to. There should have been only three, two turns. No, turns. because Steve, you, first you were like, you turn down here. I went down there, and then I was like, okay. Why this would you isn't listen it. to me? Because you were coherent. I thought you were coherent. You were talking, Steve. You weren't slurring. You were talking to me mad regular, mad regular, like you understood. Wait, it was better than the time he was. He smoked too much weed and was passed out on the fucking floor. Over here. <laughs> it was better than that time. It was better than that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. I was, I, was pouring, I was pouring water on C when he did that. I was like, Are you good? Are you good? <laughs> that, was a, that, that was a rough one. Yeah. That's nice. And he's like, No, he. This motherfucker, he's like, no, I'm good down here. I was like, Steve, get the fuck no, on the I couch. No, I really was good down there. It's, get, it's my safe spot. I was like, get on the couch, please. Just get on the couch. <laughs> just just get on the couch. No, nah, it was, honestly, it was that lavender that Britney gave me. No, that I'm shit is a lifesaver. Britney, Britney put me on. It, listeners, if y'all have anxiety of any sort, get that lavender essential oil. Stick that I'm shit up you your nostril, I'm and you will you. be fine. You'll be okay. <laughs> you really Couple will be. Couple minutes, it'll pass. I put my homegirl onto that. Cause she really? has really, I yeah. think I told you from Texas. I think you did. Yeah. I, sh- I was like, here, take this. And she's like, what, what? And I was like, she's like, oh my God. She's like, <laughs> that shit really worked. I'm she, I was you, like, girl. get that. I was like, girl, here you, you can have my extra one. I had two. Tons of nights in the hospital. Girl. I was like, I gotta go to the hospital right now. Mm-hmm. I had two and I gave her my, I gave my her life. my backup. I was like, Save my life. <laughs> Uh-huh. Oh my god! So pretty much my weekend was Steve's weekend. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, what about Steve's week? Yeah. What about you, Brett? How was your week? Um, you know what, guys? This week I feel like I learned more the most out of anything about being careful and reading like um somebody's red flags. Okay. More. Mm-hmm. I feel like. A lot of women, even maybe some men, to let me add the men in before Steven has a connection. No, I'm not going to. You know, there. I feel like I'm a lot gonna, of women, you know, I'm not you know we let a lot it. of things go. We, we, um, this man, you know, maybe he can't drive, but it goes past the drive. Maybe he doesn't have, you know, this or that. Not the material things or everything, but then maybe he has a sudden mood change and you're like, you know what, maybe mm-hmm. I did this to make him react this way. Mm-hmm. Like, I just feel like little things when we you start to dating somebody, we, ignore it. we ignore just ignore it. it. We let it mm-hmm. go. We're like, you know what, we, we like them. They might have apologized if it gotten that bad to the point. But I feel like we really ignore as collectively as women ignore a lot of you know red, red flags. flags that we should that should have just been a dub right off the bat so i feel mm-hmm. like i learned that the big biggest lesson for me this week is the six flags <laughs> is don't visit six flags, six flags not yeah. heart-shaped mind you because <laughs> that's what i saw don't heart visit shaped, heart-shaped six. red flags no don't visit six so, flags yeah no. um you know i want to piggyback off Brett. i think a lot for me i'm gonna speak for me yeah. Um, I, you know, I talk about my ex a lot, you know, I'll give him this, that he gives me content, <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> you got, that's all you get, nigga. You get right? one, you get, co- you give me some content, but, mm-hmm. um, you know, what I ignored <laughs> in that relationship, you know, was because I was, I'm a super save a hoe. I very much like. You know, I can make him better. Yeah. Oh, you know, he's just oh down. God, he's, do, right? yeah. he's down and out right now, but it's it's okay. Oh, mm-hmm. I was down and out at one point, not remembering. Bitch, you was down and out when you was early, a teenager. You ain't been fucked up since you was a teenager. Like, you know what I'm saying? You ain't been on top, obviously, but you ain't been fucked up, homeless, and things like that since you was a teenager. Right. So why am I okay in this grown-ass man for not having his shit together, grown ass man with kids not having his shit together, right. and I, you know what I mean. Making excuses that's for him, truth. Yep. you know what I'm saying. And that's what and we do. Yeah, and I'm trying to, you know, not be, you know, obviously judgmental, and you know, trying to help a person, and you know, you know, I guess 
projecting my traumas that I've had that held me back on that person thinking that's what's holding them back. And and that's not even it. You know, I need, you need to really listen and be like, wait, if I can get through it, I know this person can get through it. I can give them tough love and I can give them the love that they need to get through it. I can't coddle them. I can't keep coddling. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's what I used to do and do everything for that person. This is what you're supposed to do. If you a down ass chick, you right and all this stupid Some people shit. don't deserve it. A lot of you, people don't. I mean, know? So I'm not going to, you know, begrudge anybody for, you know, uh, trying to help somebody and things like that. I have to think I'm so I'm not going to say it's like a woman. Women do this. Men do this. I mean, yes, we do things a little bit differently. But I think in terms of situations like that, it has more to do with. Um, I know I will say for me, it's like, OK, you know what? I feel like this is the type of person that I'm supposed to be with. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm supposed to be with this person because, you know, I come with a little bit of, mm. you know, whatever. Baggage. So now they come with a little bit of baggage. It's so you like, feel like okay. you deserve So it. it's like, okay, you know, we both got baggage. And, so and so like wait, that. hold on. Do you feel, but, like, not to cut you, you feel like that's what you can get because of the baggage? Probably, yeah. Okay, I think it has see. more to do with a. I think it has more to do with a. This is what I deserve, kind of thing, as opposed mm, to a. This is what I want, it's tough kind of thing. That is. It, it is different, you know, because you don't know it right off the bat because nobody just shows you that right off, you know, Oof. right from the get go. But, you know what they do, Brittany's saying they do, but we ignore. We that. ignore it. I yeah, mean, we ignore it. I'm, I'm talking about like when you meet them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, for real. When we yeah. Meet them. Oh, yeah. Um, like, I I remember I, I could, you knew that day one. <laughs> yeah. No, you know what? I could, I could talk about it. I, I was I was dating this guy and I was dating him and I I thought I had really liked him at the time and he he was a funny guy and he was very outgoing, very one of those people that could just strike up a conversation with anybody. Um, ninety nine percent of the time you'd laugh at whatever stupid shit he decided to come out of his fucking face with. Um, but you know, I I meant I was I was I was drugging. Now, mind you, he's a grown ass fucking man, thirty six, roommates, fucking oh, doesn't drive. Kid, right? he had a teenage kid. Two teenage kids. Oh. Um does not drive, um, you know, f $15 an hour job at night, you know, sells, sells weed fucking, I'm thinking, oh, you know, he's, he's going to be such a great, he's going to be <laughs> such a great addition, like, to the family, oh, he, he's the one, uh, you this know, this weed dealer got it, you know, <laughs> you know, he's got it going on, it'll be okay, you know, mm -hmm. for, for me, dating this age means, you know, I want to, I want to get married, I want somebody that really wants to see it to the next level, and we're not, Dating with a purpose is what I call it. I, mm -hmm. I want to be dating with a purpose. Um, yeah. And, you know, he he claimed that's what the fuck he had wanted at the time. So, I mean, for me, I got blinded way easily. And, you know, he bought me these expensive. I wanted to go see this concert. My favorite band was in town. I wanted to go. And, you know, that night, for instance, I should have known. In mind, it's the second date. Second date. I should have fucking known, right? I should have known. And... No, he comes in and he's screaming at me the whole way to the show. And my ass, I'm like, I just, I just what need was to get saying? to the show. I just need to get to the show. You know, he was, he, he came into time was a little late and, you know, he wasn't ready. And me, I'm a fanatic. You go see a concert. I want to see it right away. Right. Yeah. I want to be on oh time Lord. for the concert. Who wants to be late to the concert? If anyone knows, you Brittany, know me, ass. you know me when I go to a fucking show, to, I need any, to be on fucking time. Let me time. tell you something. Brittany will be on time for I the need show. To be on now, time. Wait, hold on. For the podcast, not so much. But <laughs> For a show, <laughs> for a show, she will be there. Concert, she, this bitch no. will be like if the concert and the, she don't care if the, the fucking opening act is six thirty. I'm in there. I'm in love. Yup, yup, yup. We're trying to get that good I mean, ass seat. I, I can't get mad at that. I do the same thing. Thank you. But, I ain't gonna lie. Who shows, for the concert, who shows up to a no, concert late? Come I'm not on. mad at that because I do the same shit. I'm paying for this show. I'm being there. You know. So I made a, I made a mistake thinking he's a guy. He's going to take no time to get ready. He took a way longer time than I had even envisioned. And so, you know, I'm harping him. Come on, we're going to miss, we're going to miss the, we're going to miss, you know, they come out with class. We're going to miss the fucking opening act. And he's just like, so what? And then he gets in the car and proceeds to fucking scream at me the whole way there because I was upset about possibly missing the opening act of a show. So right there, for instance, is the time I should have been like, mm, second date, this guy is bugging the fuck out the whole way to the show. 
I should have registered. You know, mm-hmm. this probably isn't a good. You I shouldn't have. be going any further. Yeah. But you know, he excused it. He excused it after as soon as as soon as we parked the car, he gets out. He's like, "Let's just have a good time. Like, let's just have a good time. We'll, we'll let it go." That nigga's energy changed. Out of, his it's personality changed, changed out, out, of out of nowhere. nowhere. He, he's like, "It's not a big it's deal." That shit. You know what I mean? He's like, "I just had a long day. That's not me. I'm a funny person. I'm happy." And you know what? I excused it. And I feel like all of these things together, I should have been like, "Brittany, very first date, no." No. Right. You know? And I didn't. And I excused it. So I feel like leading up to all the, the really only the handful of couple of dates we've had, but it shouldn't have even gone as far as. So it, actually, you, you know what I mean? Every date you had wasn't completely successful. It was always it some wasn't. drama. It was at the always end of it. some crazy yeah. shit and bipolar moments. And, you know, people like that, I feel like they put out their most for everybody and their energy and they act like they're such a great guy and this and that. And, you know, they want everybody to love them, right? They want everybody yeah. to like them. But, Brittany, ready? Hold that thought because we got to take a break. <laughs> break time. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. All right, Brett. Um, you were telling, you were saying how this motherfucker is an actress. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he can't even get the actor title. No, the no. way he treated my motherfucking friend. Hell no. Fair yeah, enough. Yeah, Fair yeah, enough. Hell no. I act like a little bitch, but mm-hmm. yeah, you know. Um, just basically how you know they're different people, and we don't realize mm-hmm. it until maybe we realize that you 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 even make then. excuses. Yeah. Yeah. Well, remember I said to you when you expressed this to me. This was a while ago when you dated this person. Um, I was like, you know what? You know, he pretends to be because I even thought he was cool. I was right. like, oh my gosh, he's mad cool. He's he's fun. Yeah. He works with the you know the group. All of us we've known each other for so many years. Yep. This, this friend group, this crew, and I'm like, you know, he's so cool. But you know what's crazy? I already know that once y'all go through some shit, mm-hmm. he's gonna make it seem like you're crazy. Of course, you know he's That's the fun exactly guy. He's the the funny guy, the fun guy. And once y'all going through it, we're gonna be like, Brittany, what? How mm-hmm. could he? He's so funny. He's so cool. Yeah. And now you look crazy. So he's gaslighting the shit out of you. Oh my god. And trying to guess did. and trying to make people get ga- like your fr- your group of friends to gaslight you as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that everyone's against you, so you're isolated. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I I he know was that. setting it up. He was setting it mm-hmm. up definitely. Girl, I did the same. Sh- the, you know, when my shitty ex was the same. Well, he was a full blown narcissist. Like had a full blown narcissistic disorder, whatever you mm-hmm. want to call it. Like he has a mental disorder. He needs full blown help or he's gonna murder someone someday. Like yeah. not to like I'm laughing because I'm uncomfortable because You're like it's true. Real shit. It's real shit. Real shit. But shout out to him he in jail. But um <laughs> and they need to keep his ass there. But um I say that to say this. <laughs> I say it to say this. Like he would literally like talk to my friends about me and they're looking at him mm-hmm. like, bro, what? Like, we know you're the problem. Sam has right. never had this issue with any other person she's ever dated but you. So we know you're the problem. And she ain't just out of nowhere become this asshole, this bitch, this this liar. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Because he wanted them to be against me because he wanted to isolate me yeah. from them so that yeah. I was just him. So you didn't have anybody. So that, yeah. yeah, so that he can control every Definitely. move I made. every Anything I did, he would control that. But wouldn't you look at your friends crazy if they fell for it as opposed to him for trying like, oh for sure. I, I wouldn't yeah. see I wouldn't begrudge I, would. I wouldn't begrudge somebody trying. Okay, cuz that's your game. That's what you got to do in order for you to keep whoever you whoever you're with. You have to you know, you have to isolate them because you know that you're less than to mm-hmm. actually you're mm-hmm. not up for the competition. That is out there and people need to understand that. There's competition every single day you step out the door. That's you know, true. there's somebody trying to Take your man or take your girl. There's somebody trying, trying to take, to your, job, take, take your, your job, take your whatever. Take the last box of fucking Frosted Flakes. Like, they out here. <laughs> like, so, uh, they out you here. know, I mean, that's like the one thing I've just, I, I understand about people is, you know, I will never put anything past anybody, anybody. trying to you really do can't. something. Mm-hmm. You can't. <laughs> um, yeah, Steve. I mean, yeah, you never know, though. Like, you can have friends that are rooting for the couple. Uh, you know, they become friends with the dude. Like, let's say, mm-hmm. like, you well, know, I have that situation. Right. I have that same exact situation um, with with each. I love her man. That's my dude. That's my guy. Like, yeah. I'm like, yo, you two. And now, mind you, that was my first time up. meeting them. Really? And I they love- were. That was my oh, very first time that. meeting them. Yeah. They were so nice. Yeah, those are my 
my people. He's like, oh my god. Like those yeah. are my people. Fu- like those no, are my they were cool as shit. Dogs oh, shit. right there, yo. I love them. And I'm like, yo, y'all two are never allowed to break up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I would. You say get- that same shit to me. You know you love my man. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah, first no, off, he first did. off, I got, I got to set a big shot. I, I, I love him. I thought I don't see in Culture Junior when I walked into Buka de Bapa <laughs> and he was. I was like, yo, what I the got fuck? a shout out to him, man. He has a sweater. I mean, he's, he's he's the, the, he's the one that styled me. I was like, so I, the hat, it was a big yo. It was a hit. You know what I'm saying? And you know what? I'm I'm not even mad at it. I, trust me. I was I was using it to my advantage. Like anytime we went somewhere, I was like, yeah, what up, y'all? Yeah, I got the whoa, podcast. Whoa, wait, wait. Were you wearing that hat in the strip club? Girl, yes. Yes, I did. Oh, yes. my God. Yes. I never took it off. I don't know if they thought he had money or something, but they was all flocking to his ass. <laughs> <laughs> and, they, and, you know, it was like, it was like, like you know, just came right yo, from the south. It was like Jamaica all over again. It was like, that's your brother. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's my brother right there. <laughs> That's oh, hilarious. Man. But yeah. man, yo, good, good, good times, good times. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, so back to what I was saying. Yes, like you said, you got a, you got a friend, your best friend, and she's with someone that's amazing, and you're mm-hmm. rooting for them. So you might be privy to listen to both sides. Like you might be like. I would Damn, have no choice. Ish, uh, Arthur's saying this, and I don't like how you treat Arthur, and then, and then, and that's a slight to her, possibly if he's a manipulative piece of shit. Right. Right. You understand what I'm saying? But if so, he was, so I do I all the time. It. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If, if, if if he was, I would know it, and mm-hmm. I wouldn't even condone. Because if I'll tell you this right now, um, if that were the case, he wouldn't want me around. No, for sure. You understand? Because truth be told, like that's yeah, true. me and her are best friends. Technically, I'm the. I would be looked at as the biggest threat to him mm-hmm. because of that's the isolation factor I'm right. talking about. So when you see somebody and, and that's what I was saying, like, you know, when you have somebody who's confident in who they are and, you know, they know that they're not about the bullshit and all that other stuff, they don't worry about it. He doesn't fucking worry about me because I don't ever give him a, I don't ever give him a reason, reason to and mm-hmm. B, mm-hmm. um, you know, she doesn't give him a reason. They don't give mm-hmm. each other reasons to have to worry about none yeah, of that stuff. That's and a fact. so and that's it what it starts was. with the source. I don't care what anyone would say. The person sure is gonna does. feel a type of way if if the person that they are currently with is making them feel insecure. Right. Yes. The, it's rare that a person just randomly feels insecure. Yes, the, there's jealous people out there, but it's usually because of who they're Their with. Their actions, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, for sure. But yeah, you know, that was one thing I, I could see Brit worrying about. Like, you know, this dude seems like he's great and why uh, Brittany could be Yeah, we all know Brittany's a nut. Yeah. What? <laughs> I mean, we all know Brittany's what? a nut. So yeah. it, we can really easily guys? no, but we can e- think of it this way: you can easily I just chop. You are, but I, I love some, you so much. I got some quirky things, but no, 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 she's quirky. I got some quirky no, like, things. No, nigga, quirks. pecans, nigga, nuts. But anyway, I, like, no, <laughs> we can easily have just chalked it up like, oh, Brittany's being Brittany, and she's fucking tripping, and then I she looks quirks. crazy. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. he knew what he was doing. Well, most of the time I'd be picking crazy ass motherfuckers. So, you know, I feel like maybe it's me. Maybe my fucking picker's off. But well, it's true. I do want to say just on behalf of crazy, uh, crazy people. Um, I know that y'all two wanted to talk about this because then I have to talk about something about a crazy person that I didn't realize. Like I have such. Uh, what's up? With, all right. So I need y'all two to explain it to me, please. <laughs> Because I did not watch it, nor do I care. Um, this Jeffrey Dahmer thing. Oh, I'm Lord. Not, but what am do I missing? Do you know his story Can at somebody all? somebody explain to Hold me on, what I'm me, missing? Okay, let me ask you. Do you know his story at I just all? know he was like a serial killer. Okay, so uh-huh. that's all you know. That's all I know. Okay. Steven, really? Yeah. I told you. I, look, I wasn't kidding. When we were at dinner, I told you I scared the hell out of myself just going through a slew of documentaries on YouTube for like a month on serial killers. And I don't know why. I scared the hell out of myself. It, I used to walk around with a knife just in case. <laughs> I, and every time I would go home, I would open up all the doors and make sure nobody was in the apartment. Yeah, yeah. None of that. I made sure. It, I scared the hell. I'm not watching this. It's 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 Maybe not watch it, but you have to yeah. like. It, it's fascinating. When you think of serial killers, he's yeah. definitely at the top. He's, 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 he's definitely top in the tier. top. Yeah. 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 Like, Where you'd be like, oh, it, yeah, I know him. Him, Ted yeah. Bundy and shit mm-hmm. like that. Um, Charles Manson. It, it's crazy because it, it, to me, it's fascinating <laughs> what a human will do. I don't know. It's just, it's fascinating to me. It's why. And w- what the fuck possessed you to do this nutty shit. But, um, uh, there is a Netflix show called Dahmer. It's huge right now, but it's getting a lot really of good. flack mm-hmm. because of the LGBTQ 
pissed about it. Why? I don't um, know why either, you know, honestly. I, okay, to be honest. I don't either, and I'm going to say it like this in all respect. I love everybody. They're mm-hmm. having flack because it's re traumatizing them because um, Dahmer was a homosexual and he targeted men. That's all he, he killed 17 young men. Mm-hmm. That's what he liked. Um, so they feel like it's re traumatizing yeah, them. Straight, but to me, he... it's more re traumatizing the family of the victim. Right. The... I, I, I don't understand. Which that. it is. Hold on. Hold on. Which, I, I, I think that's, that's a big an, stretch. But that's another, that's, another, say, that's another. That's a big stretch. I'm going to say it for everybody. Um, LGBTQ community, uh-huh. shut up. Like seriously, like shut your face, okay. man. Just because I don't, Steve All always right, gotta be. I was like, I love there. y'all, but like, yeah, I love y'all. Yeah, you know, I, I love no, y'all, but not, that, I, love y'all. I don't know how uh, it enough, equates enough, to. Well, so I'm gonna say this. I don't know how the story. I can, I can love you and tell show. you to shut your face, but, so, but this is not something just gay, where you should be complaining about. What if he was straight and killing women? Like, what if he was straight and everybody was women? Like, nobody would have even blinked an eye. Like, oh, he's he's killing women. Like, no, you been know, like, it would have no, been normal, been normal like, well, as that's what they do so every is, day. This is my argument. So, it, so yes, it's, it's also re-traumatizing the, the family of the victims, which is totally understandable. Mm-hmm. Right. They're like, I, we don't want to see this. Totally understandable. That is LGBTQ. This is how I feel about it. So, the only thing that would blow my shit is they're pissed about that Netflix put it in the, the, the uh, LGBTQ tag. So when you look for music, there's horror, there's there's comedy, right. there's an the LGBTQ tag, and and it's in the LGBTQ but tag. But he was gay. No, I mean, no. So this is how I feel about it. now. I, I understand that. Gay. So let me say this. I understand why and there was a lot they're pissed of about that. male on male action in the so series, wasn't there? No, because yes. no, no. What it yes. is is that yes. they it, it, they think it makes them look bad. No. So this is what it is. Um, they feel oh. as if so. Um, yeah. So I'm explaining what they feel. Well, what I've read, a few people feel. They feel as if like. Is LGBTQ movies usually, you know, they explore a person coming out, um, them experimenting with, you know, the same sex and things like that. This is going, sh- he just happens to be a serial killer that's gay versus him exploring his sexuality. You understand what I'm saying? He did in he a did. murderous way. But he, he, did, he, he did. He started with the animals. And he started, you know, by feeling I'm their organs sexuality. and sexuality. And, though. Yeah, but he was he was working it up. He was working it up, and then you know when he first saw his first guy, he was like envisioning. It was the mannequin first, and he yes. was like petting the mannequin and male mannequin. you know a male mannequin at, at, a, store, at a like a man's like, store. He took home talking about mm-hmm. in the series, and um, he had had this mannequin in bed, so he was fantasizing at first, and then it was almost like when he had actually kissed a guy, I was like, oh, okay, so he actually wants. Mm. To actually do something other than to think of them in a way of wanting to kill them and have them being so knocked out that he could do whatever he wanted to do to their body. Right. Okay. So now that you told me that, because I haven't finished it, I'm yeah. literally on episode three. I've, Spoiler yeah. alert. Just yeah, in case. Word. Um, Spoiler. Yes. Which is fine because if you, but not too if, big. if you're our age group, and you know, mil- you know what were we millennials? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, anymore. you know, I have no idea. I'm about to say, you know, the story you know. involves the of the there's 90s. documentaries. It's huge. There's all types of shit. This isn't so the I first didn't thing. know that. So I would I would assume that's exploring sexuality, mm-hmm. which you just said. Right. Yeah, no, totally. He, it's exactly he was like, what he Am was I doing. interested yeah. in this? He's yeah. like, Do I like them alive and conscious or do I like them right, knock right. the fuck so out? I guess it's because it's it's um which kills me about this because this is what I'm about to say. Because it's harm to to LGBTQ, but if you go into the black history, it's nothing but slave movies. You know what mm. I'm saying? So it's like, right. This is, unfortunately, respectfully, this is part of, you know, the LGBTQ history. No, you know what I'm saying? See, it see, really this is what but I don't is. like either. But no, because see, it's my thing. It, it, you know what it is? It's because you're taking an instant. You're taking one person. Like, the, it's not just him. On. It's um, John. Uh, sorry, is it John? Yeah, John Wayne Gacy. Um, the killer clown. Oh, He's well, a serial enough. killer. He was homosexual. Okay. He killed um, black, brown, white, it doesn't matter people and hid them underneath his house. So, But here's my whole thing with it. It's like, why do you believe you're exempt from crazy? Well, <laughs> this is how I feel. So I was about to no, no, go but, on a mini rant. But that's my whole thing about it. It's just like, yo, like, like that's what I honestly... You want inclusion. You get, you get the, kill, you get the respect, serial killers but this, too. <laughs> this is my problem with everybody in their group. I hate groups. I hate all groups. Because you act like negative things reflect the entire group. Nobody's looking at Jeffrey Dahmer and say, oh, all those gays are crazy. 
<laughs> no one's doing that. Just kiss it, That's yeah. them doing it. They're taking right. something that no. What they did right. was they took something that nobody was saying. Nobody was like, oh, you see, the gays are violent. Gays they were just looking it. at yeah. this is a crazy mofo. Right. Who is out here? Him. Yes, like they're him. looking at him. him. No him. one's looking at your so, group. Yeah. So I think it's you because selfish people. Like I said, it's 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 exploiting the trauma, right? So hold on, just let me finish. Exploiting their trauma. They don't want to put in the LGBTQ, you know, tag or whatever, which is kind of irritates me because in the black tag or African American, whatever we want to call it tag, there's all types of movies about all slavery, right? Which slavery, is exploiting. Hold on, that's gang ex- members, all types yeah, of but which strippers, is exploiting, drugs, money, right. yeah. which is exploiting uh-huh. our Guns, you know pain violence, yeah. and hurting, and, and we're we and we rare, you know, I don't know yeah. if we're desensitized because that's all we ever got for years with these fucking slave movies made. But it's like you know we ain't really complaining, just like just it is what it is. But um. I mean, it's, it's getting mad fucking... <laughs> it's getting a lot of traction. I mean, it's a good show so far from it's what I see. It's a great show. I mean, yeah. I know, I, I know it's been a it. lot for other people to watch it, and they feel... Um, for me, I, I, my heart's go out to the, vict- the, to the, the family victims. of the victims. But that's what I think I really like. I feel like it, this show has gotten a lot, of, a lot of criticism, but I just feel like it really speaks on behalf of the victims. Right. Um, it gives, I feel like each episode, it gives like a little bit about them. You would have never that's known, true, that's true. you know, one of his victims on, um, uh, was Tony who for a glimpse, a glimpse of the show, you actually almost, but you have to remember Dom is a fucking, he, he's a, there is no feeling there, no. but for a second, you're almost like, does he really like this? But guy? he has awareness. Like, you know, he, he could have killed him a couple of times and he, and he didn't. And I'm yes. like, Oh, d- does he like this? Is this, guy? Is this the and neighbor? this guy in particular is, is neighbor, no, right? he, he was deaf and he was oh. a model. And you know why I think he liked him so much is because Dahmer's whole thing was trying to feel understood. He had no friends, no, no real connection, no social connections felt like he was alone, that type of thing. And I feel like with this man being deaf and having to write down everything, you know, this is the nineties having to write down everything to try to communicate, um, with people, he was like, don't you feel so exhausting trying to get people to understand you? And I feel like that's the type of level where he kind of connected with him at. And for a second, I was like, does he love him but like or like him even not love but like like him but then you have to remember it like this man is a fucking sick sick is sick he, do- yeah. he doesn't you know and it, it they've they were actually dating he almost killed him three times he was like no let me not kill him like i actually <laughs> yeah like legit like that, and speaking of red flags i was like someone had told me <laughs> earlier they were like yo tony should have read the motherfucking room <laughs> <laughs> They're like, Tony should have fucking known, like talking about like seeing the red fucking flags in somebody like they were like, you know, he came in and, you know, everyone was talking about the smell in the fucking place. Every like the, he was the only one that didn't talk about the smell. Which is he's weird. Cause laying he's there deaf, playing so that I game would, with him. I would assume his, he, sense his was scent was heightened. exactly. Yeah. So I, would, I had to take that. I was like, damn. Was he, did he ignore all the red flags he and Dahmer? Was he not have. like, imagine because this man was strange. So you, you know what I mean? He, he was always uh, he was strange. Uh, socially awkward. Right. And, and yes, bizarre. So right. he did ignore that because like you said, if he I felt you exactly, deaf, he was right? like, so his, somebody wants to, he so was he used to it. the rejection of being deaf and no one wanted to talk to him, Titan. even though he was a beautiful man. And then being beautiful man, he was getting attracted to the guys that just wanted to have sex with him. And Dahmer was like, uh, I'm, I, I'm, he, he wasn't, he, he wasn't into that type of level. He was trying to actually date him. Yeah. So I think, well, date him in his mind, in his, in mind. his mind, whatever was, that he means. was trying to take him home and fucking kill him. Give but him. then I feel like when he, he connected with him on some weird level to make killing him, not instant thing. It's like they had dated for a little bit and had those like little weird, odd connections. And you can tell Dahmer struggling and like, mind you, I just want to say the actor that, plays fucking Jeffrey Dahmer is um Evan phenomenal. Peters? He's an American horror. He sounds story. just like this him too. man can play yes. a killer. A killer. He, a killer. I, I, he can I, play fucking sorry, anybody. No, no funny shit. I worry Brittany's about her him. Anybody. Right she's like, yo, he played a killer. No, he for can, real. No, but he's you. from American Horror Story, so he plays multiple Ooh, killers. So like I is. feel for his 
his like energy because I'm like he has to take a break he from this shit because so he good. always plays like six sadistic people, people. good though he's and a great know, actor and he did the interview and he was like you know what I'm telling you right now I wouldn't have gotten through it without like the staff or like to get in that dark dark place and he stay sounds there just like Jeffrey too. it was like he was like that was some crazy shit and I was just like dude like I have to I have to give it to this man and everyone was talking about well what about um what's her name the neighbor's name Nisi oh Nisi did Nisi. it too she, she did her good, thing but Nisi I'm like come thing. on compared to compared to him like come on you guys you guys always want to be stretching that shit you know the Hold man on. did his fucking Hold thing on, let me ask you, you know a question since, since you watched it because i've been seeing on black twitter and i don't agree with this shit you think Dahmer was racist i you know i honestly don't know because at first i was like okay he's targeting he's targeting it black but he brown. was living in, in that and you know he said in one of his interviews he's like this is what i could afford he's like you know and maybe he was just attracted to black men yeah like maybe he like he when he was admiring tony for instance who was a model and he was snapping his you know they gave him they gave him a picture and uh, you know a camera to actually start taking pictures of him and that's where i feel like oh shit that's where he got the camera the the camera wanted to take photos from because he's here taking pictures of tony and he's admiring him and thinks he's beautiful and he only really killed the people he thought was beautiful yeah to him to him so like I, you know what i mean i don't agree with it i've been so saying i that. really don't think a so co- a couple of people been Honestly. saying that to me and i'm like i hate to say it one thing about jeffrey he was honest right and, right and he was very aware that he was a fucking nutcase that he was crazy and, and he, that was, he was crazy yeah he was very aware he, knew he was crazy and he knew he was crazy no that was his preference I, and speaking of preferences like really we did do. last last episode different strokes for different folks you know, I hate to say it. We really did. We talked that about was that. his preference. But hold on. Before we say that, we got to take a break. Yeah. And, and we're, we're back. back. All so, right. Uh, <laughs> Back to what I was saying. Yeah. So, all right. I'm so, so mad not- that we did that in sync. <laughs> that's not going, girl. Mm. But um, I don't think he was racist. That was his preference. That's what he right. liked. That's what he thought was beautiful. However, I do feel like it was racially charged mm. and um, homophobically charged why he didn't get caught. Oh my God, totally. Totally. I mean, he got pulled over so, being shit faced drunk. Had a whole dead body in the trunk. And a body in the trunk. And, you know, they're like, you know what, man, this will ruin your life. And if he I was pull a, you remember, in right now, was, I'm going to I'm, I'm let you drive your ass home and don't fucking leave. He was leave. 19 at the time. He's a whole He was kid. young. And he was like, this is going to ruin your life. Like, come on. I think that the fact that he lived in a ghetto Definitely. and black and brown men were missing and no one cared. And, and his neighbor, it who Lucy Nash played, actually truthfully lived in the like in real life lived in the building next to him not his actual next door neighbor in the same building she called multiple times especially when he was caught with the young the young um native american boy that was a heartbreaking that was a episode tough one because to, the cops now, gave him now right mind back. you steve for somebody who has no background he was that he was killing as young as 13 14 years old mm-hmm. sex workers all the way up damn yeah they so, were sex workers the episode in particular was was the young boy and um mm-hmm. that was a cop, tough one. that was a tough one just specifically because the he had drugged the young boy when he came up and he sat on the couch with the young boy and he was like I'm 14 and for a second I thought he was gonna be like all right 14 let me chill but he was it, he was just like oh you're like, 14 don't, like don't no care. issue you know gave him the drug and the drink and the little boy he was he was so young you could tell he's young and he, he gave was, him a lobotomy you know basically could have fucking yeah. yeah he yeah. gave him a lobotomy you know what that is right? crazy yeah I want to say yes, yes. I know what it is. They usually, usually it's a spike, like a really oh thin, God. like spike that goes through your eye and then it goes to your brain and it leaves you he like. Yeah, the drill with him. Yeah. Oh, no, he yeah, had the never drill. Yeah. I didn't at know what it was. At least you kind of deaf, like dead, like a some de- dead, like I don't know how to explain mm-hmm. it. Like, um, it's like drill with brains. Yeah. But um, the thing is, is that he escaped. He ran out. He ran out. He ran out. And he was stumbling down the street and Jeffrey was like around the corner at the store. So Jeffrey came around the corner. The cops showed up. The neighbor came out and the neighbor was like, like, no, no, he was you like, can't no, take he's it. a young boy. Like yeah. he needs he's to, young. he needs to go home. And the cops were like, ma'am. Uh, and Jeffrey came around the corner. He's and like, he this said, is my you know, boyfriend. we're, we're homosexuals. We're they was homosexuals. Like, so they were like, kind of like, like Ugh, here you go. Where? Yeah. yeah. So the cops were literally like, ma'am, he says this is his boyfriend. And the, the lady's like, he 
is a young, young he's a kid he's a kid like what are you talking about don't you know the cops led him all the way back onto the couch where he had just escaped from yeah and basically sealed his death yeah when 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 did like what time this period is, did this all this is take early place? this is this late is, 70s 80s okay yeah it's like he got okay. around 1991 so yeah because um, he, he actually he's according to him he did a whole 10 year stint of not hurting somebody and then he went crazy like then he, started and then he went crazy killing. for a while yeah but, um yeah but that my, my that really opinion, gave me the chills especially the real telephone call remember yeah. the telephone call the neighbor called the cops like the next day and Yo, was like, like what happened what happened to that boy and they were like ma'am like he was he's with his boyfriend we put him he, with his boyfriend back in the house like and, uh, so so me black twitter yeah. respectfully love you guys i hate to say it he wasn't racist that was his preference however him you know getting away with it absolutely racially charged they didn't care about black and brown people they didn't and no they didn't yeah no, and and homosexually uh, uh it sure as hell sorry, helped him uh, escape homophobic, homophobic charge because it was a different time then. It helped him get away because with it all. Because they were so, the cops were low key, at, like grossed out from him. Like, oh, this is what's wrong. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, back yeah. then, you know, it was taboo. It was, yeah. it was one of those things That's where it's HIV, like, yo, if you're. AIDS and HIV mm-hmm. was huge. So you didn't know. So you thought literally being in the in the vicinity of a person with, that was gay. That was a big time. Possibly gay yeah. AIDS and HIV. Big so time ignorant. back then. Yeah. So ignorant. Wow. Well, so I mean, I'm still never going to watch that. <laughs> um, oh, hold on. The the one part I want to say, which is the so the the he's not the sole survivor. As far as I know, there's two survivors from Dahmer. Um, the one that actually got him caught. Shout out to him. He he tried to kill him. The the creepiest part. I always say to Brittany when he when Dahmer was laying on this this victim's chest, he was like, <laughs> "Let me hear your heart, cause I'm gonna eat it." And this motherfucker, this nigga, he fucking gouges like. Eye out with his thumb or some shit. Lee screams. The cops stop him. He goes back. He goes back to that apartment. My ass would have been in the cop car. He goes back to the apartment. They find all these, all these, they smell the smell. They find all these pictures and shit like that. He gets caught. But <laughs> the the craziest part is, fuck, I lost my train of thought. Hmm. Where he ended up. Huh? When he, oh, where no, he the up. victim. Yeah, the victim's fucked up right now. Like, you know, you don't realize that it the the effects it can have in long term. You could be you you can be a survivor and still be a victim. No, you know, he's had a whole life go of through crime. something like that. Yeah, he's he's a drug that's, addict. He's mm-hmm. homeless. This this victim. But oh, the part I wanted to talk about is that the day Jeffrey gets baptized. Because this is before he gets caught. Mm-hmm. Is the same day. This is how you you can't tell me that they there wasn't evil in them. Because I don't normally believe in evil. As but when when I heard this, I was like, and then when I seen the testimony of that that one victim that I just described, when he said that Dahmer's face literally changed, like he wasn't the same person. I'm telling once you. Once he got into the apartment yeah. with him, he said his face literally changed. He wasn't the same person. Was the day. Dahmer had the nerve to get fucking baptized was the same day like minute to minute that John Wayne Gacy the killer clown mm-hmm. was executed and there was a semi solar eclipse at the same time that happened okay then <laughs> I'm just no I, I mean well I mean it sounds you know I believe in that shit all day so no he was it definitely sounds like he knew he had who an John altar and was. set up yeah he was it sounded like John Wayne Gacy was somebody I I from whom... That's a good question. I, well, I, don't, I don't, and again, I don't know, know if he ever mentioned that in his... Because that's one thing. That's why I said I don't think he's racist. I don't because he was very honest with what the shit he did. Well, Dahmer. the stuff... Look, whenever things like this happen, you it's always going to happen with whom you're surrounded by. So if you're, if you're going to be a murderer, you're going to murder the people those are of the individuals that's around you. You're mm-hmm. not going to travel. You're not going to be going like... If it's your preference, you would. If, what well, no most people most if you prefer little girls and you're you're then you're gonna go for the you're gonna go to the school right you're gonna go to all girls school around or your, whatever have around you. your area but yeah. you're not gonna go to like a different um state you're gonna go with where you're familiar Dep- maybe it depends on if maybe, you want to yeah. get caught we don't understand maybe. the the mind of a sick person like fair that. enough sick you know person like him. and understand. i just want to bring up one more thing about Dahmer before we change up because we can't be talking about this motherfucker thank this god i am just gonna say see you don't know if nigga. anything i really felt bad for his father 
of I all don't. fucking people, I felt bad I for his father. His father was like, my kid is fucked the fuck but up. But you encouraged like, that. What can I do? His you know dad what? encouraged but that shit. You know what? You know what I'm saying? I just want to say this. This fucking... You know, the, the the second episode, I was like, oh, my God, not me feeling bad for Dahmer. Like, <laughs> the way he was fucking That's how you growing know up. And, good. you know, these are fucking kids. You know, you should be walking in no fucking kid and seeing your mom laid out fucking OD'd on the fucking bed and parents fucking arguing, fighting shit like that. Like, like that's, that type of shit just, just, it, it. <sighs> It irks me. Like, these kids don't ask to fucking be here. And that shapes who they are. You know what I mean? So this i feel like the father was like what the fuck can i do because he's not being he knows his son's fucking weird knows he's not connecting on any type of level but the only thing that made him a little bit of excitement in his life or saw him come alive was to talk about these fucking dead ass animals in the street so they used to run around and get roadkill and fucking you know cut open cut open the the animals like you know you would do in school and shit come on brett Come I on. I know it's a little little you, funky. You you want if you're if your son I don't know it was funky. like yo I'm into like but he knew fucking he tried you, you know I have not to say he tried better that. than the mom the mom fucking abandoned him left whatever the case may be the dad came she back was and was sick. like you know what the dad's like you know you're gonna try to clean up and pay for college and pay for school then they get over here fucking not going to school getting drunk fucking. You know, he was drinking since he was like fucking drinking 12, like crazy, whatever. So gets 12. kicked out of school. Fucking puts him in the army. Um. So his dad wasn't that you know, attentive. His, his, if you're drinking since you were twelve, you you you're able to. Get I'm not six saying packs. he was perfect, but I'm saying he knew something was wrong with him, and I f- I kept feeling like he was trying to he was trying to to for what had happened i feel like he was trying to prevent it and you could tell in certain scenes where he was like oh my god like my fucking kid like you know when he got arrested he wrote a letter to the judge like please have my kid in therapy something is wrong he's gonna come out and do something crazy please he needs this this and that and then when he got as arrested, soon as Dahmer got said, out as soon as Dahmer got out you know his dad was like so what therapy did you go to what what have what have you been doing and he's like you know they let me chill by myself like i didn't have to really talk to anybody his dad was like all right i'll meet you in the car and then literally had a breakdown like oh my fuck this this ain't gonna he ain't gonna fucking change they didn't help him when Dahmer was arrested he said how did he die he thought he was gonna be a victim so there's no he way I think he was that doesn't make sense though. But like way he's acting, he's he thought his father was. I'm telling you, I feel like the father. I felt so you know, and at first he was coming to visit him, and he thought he got his act clear, and you know, he had a nice apartment. He put it, you know, Dahmer, the actor that he is, put on the front for them, and was like, you know, I'm doing good. He was like, you know, I'm really proud of you. So you actually, you look good. You're doing good. Um, you know, and he had fucking dead <laughs> dead fucking people like grandmas so it's like it's like i uh, my heart honestly did go out for the father i did feel bad i was like you know because when you have a kid and, and you know something's wrong with your kid and you, you're gonna do everything you possibly can you can only do so much most people don't even want to believe you only it do so much That's yeah true. like you exactly. don't want to believe that yo my kid wrong is that mess. point yeah. maybe you can't get out of yourself to that like, fucking point the mother she was so sick in the head like i think she had like a from just watching the show and reading up, she had like this borderline personality disorder. She wanted attention all the mm-hmm. time and fake that she was sick all the time. It was a hypochondriac. So she couldn't even get out of her own head to head. even see to that her son is sick. Or to be up. a mom. Yep. Yeah, she couldn't even do that. So piggybacking off that, um, and it's kind of funny, yo, because this is going to be a good segue. So I watched Blonde. Mm-hmm. I need to. I, I don't know if I want. To. All right, so, so if, many if nobody know, I, no, 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 no. I could. I've never seen not one Marilyn Monroe. Nothing, but this fucking movie. First off, I watched it. I have to rewatch it again because I was kind of in a fog because I watched it uh, the day after my that little birthday party. I was like laying in bed, <laughs> so I, I didn't catch it. And it's a three and a half hour movie. Jeez. This movie is long. Oh my god. Oh my god. So, but oh my. God. But what's it about? Was it's this about mo- her life. It's about or? her life. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, the reason why I love this movie so much okay. is because if you look at Marilyn Monroe, she is just, I mean, she's so glamorized. Oh, yeah. Like, right. She is just put on such a pedestal and, and she is just put like, oh, she was beautiful. She was talented. You know, she was... You know, wasn't she fucked up? Smashing the price. <laughs> she I'm like, seemed, wasn't she a fucked she up always, person? To me, son. seemed like a torture soul. Son, right. She yeah. was beyond messed up. up. Yeah. So it's kind of funny that we were mentioning, you know, parents, things of that nature. She was an orphan, so her right? mother. All right. So, I, again. Here. Uh, yes. Please come. This is what I'm saying, yo. Don't son, I almost cried during this. I almost cried during this. 
the movie? Yes. I almost cried like three times because they did not portray this movie. They did not portray this movie like her life was glamorous. Like her mom was, I don't know if she had a uh, personality disorder or if she was bipolar or schizophrenic, mm-hmm. but she's and, and whoever she's this actress is, I don't know her name. She's from Spain. She I was perfect. <laughs> she was perfect playing this role. Mm-hmm. And it was so fucking good. I've never felt like this about anything that I've watched since um, The Queen's Gambit. I still haven't watched um, it. I, gotta watch I'm, it. I was an instant fan of this woman now. I'm trying to, I'm going to try to watch all her other stuff. So, all right. So here it out, here's how it goes, right? She was born. Um, her mom has issues, yeah. lots of issues. Mm-hmm. So basically it was like, you know, sh- she's telling like her daughter, this is who your father is. You know, it's this handsome man. You know, this is back yeah, in the day. Yeah, I don't think she ever knew her dad. Never. Like she that. never knew. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, no, she didn't. But she kept... I don't know much about her, but so, so I don't know much about her at all. This is, Fascinating. This is just so. like really, I'm just going to really like run it down real quick. So basically her mom went completely nuts. So mm. I guess she was driving uh, the, the young girl to go to the father's house. This all six takes place in California. And I guess there was like some big fire or whatever. And you know, her mom is like losing her shit in the car. Mm. And you know, the cops are like, no, you have to turn around. You cannot go further. There's wildfires. Da, 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 da. They go up. She turns around. As soon as she gets in the house, starts like whooping on the child. Like, I mean, just beating the dog shit out of her. Um, saying I, you know, he left me because of you. Da 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 da. Um, you know, yeah. fuck, you know, it's your fault. This is that. So then, so then, I'm like, oh my god, this is terrible. So then, the the mm. young girl runs to her neighbors. The neighbors take her in. I'm like, okay, you know, maybe the neighbors are gonna be like. I think she gets touched by the father or something crazy, right? So no, what? Oh what wow. Ha- well, so what happened was, the you know, they were supposed to take her. Apparently, they said they were gonna take her to see her mom. Mm-hmm. Come to find out they dropped her off at an orphanage, orphanage. because the man, mm. the man Wanted didn't to... want no kids. Uh, so she's like, nah, she got to go. There's so many different is this versions. the mom's boyfriend or something? No, no, this or? is no, the, neighbors the neighbors that the mother, that they took her with. in. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, okay. so after but that. There's so many variations because I heard, I thought that it was her uncle or the mom or her aunt's, un- her aunt's husband, which isn't her you know, blood uncle that used to. It, it, it can be. Pop- I'm only going based off what I saw movie, in yeah. the movie. So now she ends up. I, I think it does a time skip after mm-hmm. the orphanage thing, mm-hmm. and um, again, this is why I got to rewatch it. So now she's going out for auditions, right? She's and then still the, Norma Jean. She's, she's not. She's still Marilyn Norma Monroe, Jean. She's yeah. not Marilyn Monroe yet. Okay. So she goes into this uh, office, and you already know what happens. Like. How bad do you want this role? Mm. You know, bend oh, over. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Bend over. Yeah. And you getting. It's still like that. Getting, don't it still is like that, you know definitely. What I'm but and then, so. Harvey Weinstein, we already know. So, that pig. So, basically, like, it just keeps, like, escalating and escalating and escalating. Nah, I didn't know it was like, like this. I know she had this type of life. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, didn't, I had no idea. And, and she yeah. has the most. That's un- why she. Uh, she has the most unglamorous life. Yeah, and I think that's what. Period. T- and I'm so that's glad. That's what caused her to do so, 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 many, so many drugs. This is why okay. I'm so glad, yeah. like, it, like, they did the movie the way that they did it. Mm-hmm. Outside of it being shot beautifully, outside of the girl, the woman uh, the who actress? portrayed her, the actress who mm-hmm. portrayed her, just absolutely killing it. It made nothing look good. Nothing looked mm. amazing. Like okay. it, everybody looks at like the fame. Like oh my god, look at her. So, so for instance, um, she's she's dating uh, a celebrity's uh, twin sons. So like her twin sons are like um, boyfriending to Marilyn Monroe. She was with the the two sons at the same time. Oh wow! So basically, she was fucked up mentally. Right. She was sexually abused, abused, mm-hmm. and so she was messed up there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, she had been forced to have three abortions. I didn't even know that. Um, uh, and I'm sorry, yo. I yeah, don't know I how you this. look at it. Like, yo, it's just it's crazy. So basically, um, it's showing her while she's like doing these parts and all this other stuff, and like you're watching like the people watch her, like as she's auditioning. And she oh, gets wow. so into these things, like she starts like actually like 
reliving the stuff in her head and it's coming out during the, these auditions and people are like oh my like what made her so amazing was that every role she was like playing it she embodied she it. embodied it right like it, it was like i think that was the issue for her she felt like she was those characters and not herself but here's another thing so she was talking about like they they she was talking about mental illness and she was talking about her mom having mental problems and then she was asking the doctor will my child mm. have potentially have these things okay so it's before they had any knowledge of any mm -hmm. of any of that, that yeah so she gets married to this i guess ex baseball player right and you know obviously i'm thinking okay yo this yo she's about to come up now yo she's about to find a man all right happy uh -huh. but i don't think she even knew what to do with like someone that loved with her. someone who like loved her but then again they didn't love her they oh, loved so marilyn didn't love monroe her. they didn't love you know what i'm saying norma jean they didn't love who she really was like and so, she struggled with who she really was. So she did something like so that that the infamous standing on the gray and the sh skirt coming up, right? Yeah. So the white it, dress. Yeah. Right. So the most famous, honestly, probably what picture of um, all time? Seven Year Itch. I think that's the film called Seven Year Itch. Yeah. So it shows the perspective of the guy, like her husband at the time, like he's watching it as she's doing this. And Didn't he fuck her up for that or something? Yo, beat the shit out of yeah. her. Oh, and then shit. now no, she, for real. But now she's getting wow. letters from somebody claiming to be her dad and all this other stuff. So she's now basically it was always her trying to find her father. Find she's herself. She's always wanted to find her yeah. dad. She always wanted to know who he was. Where is he? And he always and like in the letters, they always kept saying, You'll see me soon. And then oh, wow. when that happened, she's like, he was like, You disgust me. I can't believe you did that. Da 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 da. I'll contact you at some point. So wait, was it him the whole time? We don't know. No, no one you knows. You never know. Yeah, you, don't, you, you never, never know. know. And again, spoiler alert, everybody. Um, so, but before, but before we continue, that, we got to take one more break, y'all. One more break! what i was saying real quick so um she never so she would always get like letters from him mm -hmm. but never actually get to see him and I'll, I'll just say this yo like you could just see as she gradually gets worse she becomes gradually more of an alcoholic she, she ignores gradually, the red flags she gradually just becomes more you know into drugs and all this other stuff and then i don't know how this is going to sound but just hear me out um, because you know how John F. Kennedy, he is just portrayed as like, he was like the golden child, right? Yeah. Boy Scout. Boy Scout, man. Mm -hmm. Yo, man. I mean, look, did he try to do a lot of good things? Probably so. I don't know everything, but they made him look like a, I've never seen this. They made him look like a dirt bag in this, mm -hmm. in the situation, like where, um, they would come, he probably was a dirt bag, take her right? and like, he was married and for then, sure. Oh, 100%. Well, he because when, when, when. Because when they were walking her to his room, mm -hmm. you uh -huh. could see his wife on the uh, his Jackie wife was, o. yeah, his wife was like on the couch crying, mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. everybody knows what's going on, mm -hmm. you know, and then, like he was like, so she's she's sitting there, you know, she going down on him, doing all this other shit, and he's just like, he's just talking to her like shit, because you would think, you know, like, mm -hmm. so this is what I always thought about Marilyn Monroe. This is what she I always thought. She had like. Every is sex. Yeah, like I always thought, like, but yo, like she you know what? Who's sad girl? She was just always sad, like, sexy. Yo, mm, but sad, but, sexy, damaged, sexy. But, yeah, but like she's beyond that. This woman was tortured. Yeah, mm. her yeah. entire life was torture. Yeah, there's mm. been no happiness in her life, and everything that was supposed to like make her happy, uh, it ended up being bad. Bad for right. her. Yeah. So. I, I don't know how much more to explain the yeah. movie. It's something that you have to watch. So you have to watch with intent. So let me ask you, um, you know, her death has always been a controversial conspiracy. Do you feel like she just OD'd or do you feel like the government had a hand in it? I think she OD'd. Mm -hmm. People feel like the government had a hand in it. Because it, it's, it's crazy day, man, because so. it's because of what JF Kennedy me. told her, like what she knew, wait, what she may or may not have known. So well, 
But here's the thing. That's always but that's not how it was portrayed in the movie. It really was portrayed to where it she was, was a like side chick. she was just there. Yeah. To mm. it only know. got forty four on Rotten Tomatoes. I don't know. Steve. That is no. That is no. Sorry, don't ever. <laughs> don't don't know, e- no, 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 no. Don't really listen don't to ever, Rotten Tomatoes. Don't ever, ever, oh, ever no. listen to critics. Ever. Every time I listen to a critic. I always am disappointed. It's either if they say a movie's great, this movie stinks. No, I'm sorry, this is wrong. No, that's wrong. This movie is a ten. Five point seven out of ten. And I'm gonna tell you this right now. When was the last time you ever heard me go nuts over any movie that I've watched that I've been wrong? Fair. Okay. I don't go nuts. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna give it a go. I'm interested. I'm intrigued. You really gotta watch it. I'm intrigued. Really do. Damn, two point five. Steve. That's no, what I'm no, saying. No, no, yeah, I. Nah, 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 I was but, close no, 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 these no, reviews. No, no, I don't no, know, no, man. No, 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 because this, I, I don't care about these people. That's, I don't care about none of the reviews. Give me a low reviews. Yeah. So we were looking forward to this movie, and it seemed like it, it took forever to finally be released. But what a thrill when it what when it. What? What a throw it was. My wife, especially a vivid fan of Marilyn Monroe, she understands all the drama that was in Marilyn Monroe's life. Ana D. Amos, I think that's how you say it, looked amazing, captured Marilyn's look perfectly, very artistically done, especially with aspects to the babies in the womb, mm-hmm. but at the same time, very disturbing. JFK was ugly. Yep. And it got two stars. That was a whack ass room. Thank you, stars. Did you see what I'm telling you? Here, Why read, not to read it? I can't read see. this. I can't read I can't see, see that far. Ahead, Brett. The movie was awful and <laughs> painful to watch. <laughs> and not only disrespected, but also just dis- depicts pictures, the, iconic, the iconic, iconic figure of Marilyn Monroe. Mm-hmm. My one star is only for the actress who gave an outstanding performance without hesitation. However, the script don't help her and having her doing so many sex scenes. I mean, but that, that was her thing. Wait, that I was her go thing. Back on, especially um, the JFK, yep. which was bleaking point was bleak, bleaking point. That, honestly, I don't know what that means. And having her basically naked the whole movie. Oh, the breaking beyond, point. Oh, breaking, sorry. Yeah. Was um, naked her, the whole movie. Yeah, was beyond was unnecessary. unnecessary. Hold on. Can I just say okay. things? And this is the reason why okay. I'm not listening. The so, movie was, the movie's rated NC-17. What know, did you expect? Um, You know what's funny? The, the, that's what was the negative I seen in the other reviews is that she is overly sexualized, but that's was her whole what? persona. Yeah. What the hell did that's people think? This is, see, this is why I don't read reviews. Because they're fucking dummies. You fucking idiots watched an NC-17 fucking movie and then... Oh, hold on, hold on. No, 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 hold on. No, 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 no. To any reviewer who gave this shit one star, you're fucking stupid. You watched an NC-17, which honestly, it I've seen... I've seen fucking rated R movies with more nudity and hardcore sex than this fucking movie. <laughs> it said I would give it zero. <laughs> I would uh-huh. give it zero stars if I could. Another movie made by a man oh, in God. a man's world. Oh, fuck you, bitch. I gotta watch this. Just another reason to make people feel uncomfortable. Damn, this bitch went in. Dude, said, you sure that. know how to ruin family night. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you watch this on family? Right. Why see, I know, see, right? See, so, so she's a normal movie for family. So whoever, she, whoever, so whoever that woman is, whoever left. She's that like, comment, come on, kids. Let's, right, go, right. Kiddos, Let's watch Marilyn smoke, snort some coke, and get blowjobs. <laughs> what the fuck am I? This is what I'm saying. Don't listen to these people. <laughs> Which is wild because that's what, respectfully, and I hate that for her. That's what yes, she's known as to be this is what overly happened. sexualized, and oh, that, that was. So like you felt like the movie portrayed who, like her, her, her emotions and who she really was and what she was struggling with I, versus over sexualizing yes. being this drug addict uh, mistress I will that tell she's always you, been this all is the years. reason why but that's this is the reason why I loved the movie because Marilyn Monroe's life has been glamorized but mm. just who she was she's been glamorized her life wasn't glamorous can I say something? I don't, that's the reason wait, why I Brittany, love tell the me movie if you, tell me if you agree with this or not I wouldn't say her life has been glamorized she's wait, wait been hold glamorized. on her look Yes, her look. Yeah. She has her no, beauty, definitely. her beauty and her style, not yeah. not her life. I feel like they've been pretty pretty uh harsh on her life that she was right. this drug addict mistress. Right. Yeah. I'm sorry, yo. Like, fuck all Which those I'm sure people. Which I'm sure wasn't that the who, case, who wasn't, you know. I'll tell you watch, watch. Watch when you both watch it. You're going to see yo Stephen was right. Stephen was right. He's like, nah, I'm going to give it a go. A I'm going to watch, I'm gonna watch, gonna watch it. Go. Hold on, Stephen. Let me ask you. So, back to red flags or whatever. Have you ever dated someone you ignore the red flags? No. And yes, you have. No, I haven't. And I. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, wait, uh, wait. Uh, I mean, in t- all right. So, in a term- friend of a friend that you dated. Um. 
I mean, in t- I-, I will just say this. In terms of I should have probably stepped away before. I should have stepped away um, quicker than I did. I shouldn't have let. I shouldn't have tried to either force anything or let it linger longer than it had to. Um, Cause I, the only real like I would say like red flags like the one time like this one chick put her hands on me, I mm. immediately deaded it know. right See, there. I remember you dated someone and they felt like you had to buy them Giuseppe's and this and this and this. That's Damn, a red flag. Oh, I, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a red flag. Oh wait, yeah, oh wait, 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 wait. The best part of hold on, I didn't, but I didn't, hold on, but Sam, I didn't ignore it. The best part of 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 that girl is she was living on the couch of of our friend. Oh my god. But here's my thing. I didn't ignore it. Oh, yeah. Can somebody yeah. get my... That's my phone. That's my alarm. So can you get up and, Sam, uh, and please Lord turn it off? mercy. Damn it, Steve. Sorry, you, guys. That's my phone. You, you, I'm you wake up like that? Well, it's on. It's my Spotify. It's my Spotify playlist. I, I, see, I would just want to go back to sleep. I don't know. Yeah, no, we're, we're still... My bad, guys. That's on me. I should have... That means I have to get up to go to work because I do this overnight thing. Just It's right there, Sam. Just hit. Hey. Scroll it down. <laughs> uh, first off, that's great. That's a great song. Um, sure it is. All right, but in wrapping up, guys, all I'm gonna say is this. Uh, first off, I didn't ignore the red flag. I dumped her. Um, uh, okay. I, I left her. What are you talking about? That's not just sad. Babe. Yeah, I was like, are you stupid? I'm never buying you that. Even oh, you didn't buy, you didn't buy it? Hey, why the, first off, no. what, what money? Oh, okay, I thought you were actually <laughs> buying something. Okay. No, I would never do that. Are you no, kidding she me? expected, but the crazy part is Shorty was on the couch of a friend. She wasn't even oh, had her man. own shit together. I mean, look, and it, it doesn't matter to me, but that's besides the point. Go check out Blonde Red Man. Black. That movie is fucking amazing. <laughs> Go check out Don Red Ryan Black. Netflix. Fuck, fuck, um, fuck, it, fuck, man. Listen, fuck listen, all those people, if man. If y'all could, and we ain't even getting sponsors, so Netflix, we need that back. But um, you know, if you could stomach, you know, all that, it's a good show. So it was far. interesting, yeah. yeah, definitely, it's fascinating, definitely. All right, guys. So. Uh, in wrapping up, I am your host, Steven. I'm Sam Crystal. It's Bernie Bash. And as always, please, please stereotype, stereotype responsibly. responsibly. And we'll be back next week with another motherfucking episode. Peace, Peace. y'all. Peace. Thank you all for tuning in to this week's episode of the Minority Plus One Podcast. If you want to be a part of the crew, hit that subscribe, hit that like button, tell your friends. We are available on all streaming platforms so you never have to miss out. As always, please stereotype responsibly. We love you. We appreciate you. Peace, y'all. Cheers.